Hey, well, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all doing? And welcome to a uh, Sunday evening late. So I'm on call to maybe work in the morning, early, uh, depending on whether somebody shows up or not. We're not real sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and shave tonight and get a nap. And that way, if I do have to get up in the morning, I can. If not, I just have to try to get some sleep tomorrow afternoon for work tomorrow night when I regularly schedule. So anyway, the way it goes, we're gonna get a shave in. Kind of a blah night bad weather moving through was fighting with a computer I got tired of messing with so you know we'll shave I've been out running around I've still got a couple of uh, cigars in my pocket here from out where I was running around I said hey with it I'll go ahead and shave and then we'll take a nap seems to work pretty good and yep I can drink a cup of cafe bustillo and uh, still go get a nap no problems at all so here a while back I bought a, a uh, several razors in a lot and that's where the uh, the maroon handled uh, 1912 and I don't remember what all was in there now it's been a been a little while back but uh, oh the Clarks that was the big razor in there was the Clarks uh, Silver King so along with that was this now this is actually a what I think is a fairly nice looking two-sided thingy this is a Swedu and uh, Wade says that they were make, started making them in like 1931. I don't know of any way to tell when this one was made, but you know, we'll call it 30-ish, 1930-ish, early, mid-1930-ish, and everybody should be happy with that. And it's got this real neat little end on the handle there. Now the thing about it is that uh, it's got a weird head. Instead of having a center, just a center post, it's got this big, wide, flat, center so you actually I actually had to take a blade and uh, get my Dremel out and widen everything up so the blade would fit in I don't normally like modifying blades but if it's the only way you can use the razor you don't have a choice but to modify the blade to use the razor it's like using a uh, one of the auto straps or the valet auto straps that uh, you know you modify the gym blade because that's what you gotta gotta do to do it so anyway the blade is straight and it's held in tight if the blades good and the razor is not defective and it holds the blade tight and it holds it at a you know straight at a shape blade to blade razor to razor so uh, this one looks like the blade is actually really straight there's nothing to it this is a really nice open comb uh, I am a huge fan of open comb razors whether it's single edge or the uh, two-sided thingies here definitely the open combs are my favorite two-sided thingies always have been probably always will be so for our soap, we're using the basil uh, lemon soap again that Dan made at Vintage Life. We're giving it another run. I, you know, Ordinary Shaver's been using it. JR has been using it. I've used it a couple times now. It's a really good soap, and uh, I'm going to continue to use it. And uh, it's got a really nice scent. I came in, it's a light scent, but I came in the bathroom the other day here, and I could smell it on top of everything else, but I had been using it. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do on a you know pretty good growth there it's over a day's growth so that'll be enough to play around with the razor and see what goes on that's always good i noticed that uh, i was looking and talking with the uh, ordinary shaver aaron and uh he shaved with a shit band razor which is a fun shave i've got one and i've done a few shaves there's some videos here of it uh really neat something else you don't see all the time so it's neat shaving with stuff that you don't always see and and stuff that works we're going to finish up with citrus musk today with the basil lemon because i really like the citrus musk and i haven't used it in a little while and we're going to use our favorite little bore our favorite big board of course the big omega board but the favorite little bore here the uh, 1305 uh smog so that's the setup that's what we're going to do we're going to see what the sweet do s-w-e-e-d-o sweet do what i call it we're going to see what it does. I've heard it's a good shave, similar to a Cooper. Never shaved with a Cooper. But, uh, I was going to get rid of the thing, but it's not hard to modify a blade to use it with a little Dremel. So, uh, I might just keep the thing and have it to play with. Two-sided thingies are fun to play with every once in a while. You can't get serious with them like real razors, but, you know, they're okay. They're okay. So once again, we're going to get us some of this here basil lemon soap all worked up. Now this is a tallow-based soap. I like tallow-based soaps. 
I don't mind glycerin based soaps. Had some that were good. I've used and was really happy with. But uh, if I have my druthers, I'm going to choose a, a tallow. Uh, you know, some of the sterlings are actually a mutton tallow. Is it any better than beef tallow? Nah, I can't really tell. But, you know, it's neat knowing it's what you're using. Maybe that's the best part of it, is just that it's, uh, you know, in your head, it's neat knowing what you're using. Well, I expect to get lather on my shirt, but I had it on and it was going to go to the wash anyway, so why bother taking it off? All right, we'll get us some soap going here. As you can see, it lathers nice and easy. No problems there at all. Had zero skin reaction to it. Of course, I don't normally have reactions to soap. Matter of fact, come to think of it, I don't remember ever having a reaction to soap. I don't know. Cast iron skin. The only thing I've ever had a reaction to was a malignant melanoma. Go figure. That's the only skin thing I can remember ever having. So, anyway, we'll get a little bit more water into it, thin it out just a little bit more. Don't need no buttercream, we ain't icing cupcakes. Look it up, buttercup. We ain't making cupcakes. Ah, coffee's good, I'm telling you. Evening coffee. I might even go have me a cigar before I lay down. I think the worst of the first part of the weather's passed over. I'm not sure if there's gonna be another squall line or something come through, but uh all the tornado warnings and the thunderstorm warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, but all that stuff came through earlier, so maybe it's all right. So razor's a razor, blade's a blade. Uh, this blade is, what is this blade? I don't know. Wilkerson sword. It's a Wilkerson sword blade. So uh, it's a blade. Well, I can already tell I like it. And that it's gonna do a good job. Like I said, it holds the blade straight. And if it holds the blade tight and the blade's not damaged so that you can actually, you know, get the correct angle on the blade, it's all shaving is, right? Angle, pressure, then you'll get a good shave. And that's what we're gonna do. I like the feel of this one. This is be a fun razor. It doesn't have as much blade feel as let's say a, a single gillet, single ring or an old to me. Uh, but it's very, very, very efficient. Very nice, comfortable, easy shave. That's what we look for. Don't need anything complicated. I'll definitely be keeping this one. It's actually a fun little razor to use. Got a good feel to it with the handle there and the grooves in the handle. I just love the way the bottom of that handle looks. You know, it looks like a nut there. Really nice. Really, really, really nice. You did a good job, as you can see, on knocking everything off. Wow. It's actually very nice. I could uh, I could be a fan of the sweet as far as two-sided thingies go. Which about can't go wrong, you know, with a three-piece open comb style razor. That's why they made so many of them, so many different types and styles and everything. They're efficient, they're comfortable, and they do really good. And I will say, like I say almost every time, because the story just tickles me that the old boy talking about having the corn rose from the open comb. If you're shaving with an open comb and you can see the tracks of the comb in your lather, you're doing it wrong. Trust me on this one. Old Fuzzy knows what he's talking about on that one. Now we're going to come across here on a nice little across the grain. Pretty short little angle there because we can do that. Come down under this here jawline. Good slick soap. Dan, I'm a fan of your soap, my friend. Good, slick, easy to lather, 
got a comfortable scent to it. Scent has nothing to do with performance, but you can still like the scent of a soap. I do. All right. Let's turn it over here. We'll come under the neck. Indeed. I see why people like these. And you know, it's something different. It, it's uh, basically the same thing as a, you know, a Gillette Old style head. It's an open comb, three piece. But uh, the neat factor runs up a little bit because it was made to have a proprietary blade and you have to modify a blade to use it. So that just kind of makes it neat when you hit everything right and you got a blade that's held in there good and tight. And you got a razor that looks that good. Look how straight those teeth are. That was just an outstanding find. And a, so I think that lot was worth it. I paid more for that lot of razors than I normally do. But uh, I've got several good razors out of it. And while I'm thinking about it, hey Flash, my friend, you're still looking for one of those gold texts, uh, send me an email. There was one in that box too. I meant to get your address from you and I think he sent you email address and I think I forgot about it. Sorry. But if you'd like, still want one of those gold tone Gillette texts, you need to let me know. Cause I got a, I got a spar, as we say where I come from. I got a spar. That's like a spar tire hanging around the back of the truck. I got a spar razor I can hook you up with. Alright, so after our first two passes, first pass does just about all the work, second pass gets it down. We could probably leave it right here and go to bed and everything would be great. The way it is with most shades. I mean, look at that. Cleaned everything up really nice. No problems at all. But, we're going to do our witch hazel because, you know, that's how we do things. I don't know what better reason do you need. We're going to do it, but that's how we do it. So here we go and we'll see you in the morning early if uh, I go to work in the morning or I go to work on my regular night shift. Still off work. The uh, day shift is actually a lot busier because you have, you know, contractors coming in and out of the plant and stuff. I don't know if you've ever worked a plant, but if you have, you understand the, the day shift with the contractors coming in. And then the night shift slows down a lot. I do, I do a lot of paperwork and stuff on the night shift. And then we're just watching the plant, make sure that uh, nobody's getting in it's supposed to and that, that kind of stuff. Is I have a rover when I'm working supervisor that takes care of all that. That's uh, that, I call that position when you're working that night job like that. I call that, uh, you know, break glass in case of emergency post that's kind of what i'm there for uh, something bad happens then you got someone there to start dealing with it the stuff that we have to deal with of it so break glass in case of emergency that's the kind of guy i am now that's not i will you know truth in advertising that's not an original saying i was talking with a uh baton rouge city police officer the other day not too long ago and he was we were talking about the fact that, you know, at night you're just kind of hanging out doing things. He said, yes, yeah. you know, so that's how I am. I'm a break glass in case of emergency type. So there you go. You have an emergency, break the glass. Those will take care of it. So the citrus musk, love this stuff. There is just another, I don't know of any of the Pinalds that I say I don't like. But the uh, citrus musk is definitely on the like it and also not only do i like the citrus musk but it's also what i call a night scent a lot of times i like to put a, a scent like this on uh, to go to sleep i don't know if it's aromatherapy or whatever it is whatever you want to call it though i like it in these lime scents and the citrus musk is definitely a lime based scent is uh, a good a good choice florida water is another good choice if you haven't used florida water it's a nice citrusy alcohol content in it so you're probably going to feel it sting some but uh, those kind of scents i really really enjoy and another one i enjoy for that is uh the boosters oriental spice i should really use this stuff more it's it's nothing fancy it's uh from canada 
and uh, it's just a nice light fresh scent that I really like it really works good as a sleep scent also really works good as an aftershave but you know I've got so much stuff I just don't use it all what it amounts to so there we go so we got a great shave I mean really look at that that is a really nice shave there from the uh, the sweeter it's a keeper that's not going anywhere I thought I was going to give it to somebody Nobody mentioned they'd like to have it. I was going to send it to them, but I wanted to try it first. Glad I did, because uh, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere at all. So y'all have a great evening, and uh, I'm fixing to wind down some and end up crawling into bed for a little while in case my phone rings at 5 a.m. in the morning, what we call oh, 0500, because oh, it's early in the morning. But uh, anyway, phone goes off at oh, 0500 in the morning. Actually, it'd be more like oh, 0430. But anyway. I'll be ready to go. Always great sharing time with you. I appreciate it. Boosts my night. Makes me feel better. Of course, that's just because we're shaving. Shaving almost makes me feel better. And we only got one text message this whole thing. That's unusual. But anyway, there you go. Y'all have a great evening. Good seeing you. Happy shaves to you.